has got to be centered on this inside piece right here, and this has got to be right here at the end. If, if we can get him, see how his legs are? I, what I'd like to do is have him centered on him. Yeah, this, this sculpture is named Man and Crocodile, and he's traveled uh, all the way from Pietra Santa, Italy, to be here. We, we started here about an hour ago. Uh, Hampton Roads crane and rigging uh, showed up about 7.30. And uh, these guys are absolutely amazing. Uh, we got the two crocodiles. Each one of these crocodiles weigh three and a half tons a piece. And we got them off of the uh, trailer and got them set beautifully. They're right in place, right where they're gonna go. What we're working on now is the main part of the sculpture. This, this uh, piece that you see coming out of the box behind me is a man and a crocodile. So they put quite a few screws in the box and uh, that's what we're doing now. We're, uh, we're unpacking him. This sculpture was created by a, a, a sculptor named Girolamo Chula. He lives in Pietrasanta, Italy. And uh, we really wanted him to be here today, but uh, because of the uh, COVID-19, obviously he can't be here. But later on in the year, hopefully, uh, we'll have him here, and I'm sure he's going to be very excited. The Newport News Public Art Foundation was founded in 2002, and uh, the mission of the Art Foundation is to make Newport News a better place to live, work, and do business. And we do that by placing monumental sculptures throughout the city, and this will be the 21st sculpture uh, that we've placed uh, throughout the city. Uh, and it just happens to be the 21st of August that we're doing it on. So uh, uh, I'm not, not sure it was meant to be, but it certainly uh, worked out that way. Uh, Girolamo Chula's um, um, art ha has many, many crocodiles in it, and uh, you'll, uh, you'll see that it's going to be an absolutely gorgeous piece. It'll be in a month or so that we'll have a public um, viewing of the sculpture, and when you come out then, you will be able to see what the man in the crocodile really does look like. As you can see, it sets on a 36-foot diameter um, mosaic marble patio, and the crocodiles are, are flanked on either side of it, and uh, they will uh, be guarding, um, but they'll also serve as a bench for, the, for people to sit on and enjoy the art. So as, as I said, this is the 21st piece of art that we have installed and uh, we are very, very excited to be here today and I'm glad that you could be here as well.